ready for daycare, Chevy? Yeah. Chevy's mm -hmm. gonna go play with all his friends today. What are you gonna do today? What kind of games are you gonna play? I'll get down to you later. Let's go inside. Let's go inside. I wanna go play. He's always so excited to go to daycare. The whole way, he's just like shaking. He's so excited. And as we pull up, you saw him. He's whining, making all these squealing noises. And then you get him inside the door and he acts all shy. No, I changed my mind. So, while well, he's at, oh, there's somebody walking back there. All right, my blind spot. Even with my backup camera. Wasn't even close to backing into them, just, I like to know what all of my surroundings are before I start moving back. <laughs> He's way off to the side. I didn't see her there until I was already moving. All right. Freaked me out a bit. So, now Chevy's at daycare for the day. Old Blue is going in for a full service. And then, if the full service can get done quickly... Uh, oh, oh, buddy. Oh, you got to wait till I get out. Oh, okay. Sure. Oh, and you drive through the ditch to get in. Okay. That's all right. The driveway's only wide enough for one vehicle. <laughs> we proved today that it could be stretched. Two vehicles. Yeah, I'm hoping after the service is done, if they can get it done in the morning, let's keep our fingers crossed, that we can go over to KK Penner in town and uh, get my new drives installed today yet. And then, if we get all that done, I'm hoping that we can uh, get a load to get moving soon. Maybe even tonight or tomorrow morning. Need to get rolling. Thank you. Now we know it's going to be a good day. I get a little excited when I get my stuff at the Timmy's drive-thru in the morning. I'm just like, yes! You want to be at, you want to be like mature and cool about it. You don't want to scare people, so you're just quietly in your head. You're like, yes, woo! Very excited, very excited. But you got to play it cool. It's too hot right now. I got to wait for it to cool down. All right, old blue. I know, I know, it won't be long. I'll see you later today, hopefully this afternoon. I'm gonna put some new shoes on you. Brand new, it's gonna be great. Let me get my shoes on here myself. Okay, outside shoes. Oh, let's turn all your lights off. Okay, you look pretty with your lights on, but. Okay. I think I got everything I need. I'm gonna leave you in the good, capable hands here of the guys at PBX. They're gonna take good care of you. I'm gonna change out your fluids, your filters, make sure everything else is good. And you'll be back with me before you know it. We'll get you your new shoes and we'll hit the road, right? All right. I'm sitting in the driver lounge, the waiting lounge at PBX. Just waiting for my truck to get out of the shop. They found uh, another coolant leak that they're taking care of. So we'll get the service done need this coolant leak, leak fixed. I'm glad they found it because I had noticed that I had a leak somewhere but I didn't know exactly where. I knew it was coming from like underneath the truck somewhere but they found it. They're fixing that up right now. My tires are waiting over at KK Penner just down the street. Um, I gotta get there in about, what's the time? 40 minutes. So I'm hoping that my truck is gonna come out of the shop soon. Uh, I brought my camera to film with my GoPro, but I forgot the SD card. So we're filming on my phone right now. Excuse the bad audio. Samsung doesn't have very good microphones, but so that's what I'm doing right now. Uh, <clears throat> I've got a load waiting for me in Kenora that I can pick up anytime tomorrow uh, before 3 o'clock, before 2 o'clock. I want to get there as early as possible though, so if I can at least get my truck out of here to today. They're here till 6, so I should get my truck back today. If I can't get my tires replaced, Today yet we're going to go and get them replaced first thing tomorrow morning. Get the new tires on there. 
and then we'll be off to Kenora. Which that might work too, because then you know, I don't have to get a ride back from the tire shop. Because right now I have to go get my tires done and then go home, and then Britt and I have got to come and pick up the pickup, because I have to get here in the pickup later on. But if I come here tomorrow morning to get the tires done, well, I'll just stop by, get them done, then straight from there I'll go get my trailer, and then run straight to Kenora. That's the plan right now, anyways. It's actually a very nice, very nice rest area, or a driver lounge, driver resting area. I like these lazy boy couches and chairs in here. Very comfortable. Once my truck is done, I believe it's going to be rolling right past these windows here. Just keep my eye out for it. At least we got a plan, right? I'm going to get on the road, uh, be picking up in Kenora, and then that load will be going to Brainerd, Minnesota. I'll probably deliver that the next day. Old Blues in Bay 4 over there. They're just finishing up. Just tightening up the lug nuts, and then we'll be out of here. I'll come back tomorrow for a retort. There it is. I asked them to be extra careful because the rims have just been polished recently. And there we go. Brand new shoes. So these are the tires that I got. And it's nice that they're all matching again. Back in the shop with the new shoes. I think they're gonna do pretty good. I like the tread. I went with closed shoulder. I do mostly highway driving it's a pretty good tread pattern so I should have good traction in the winter as well you can see it's picking up some rocks already I'll pick those out when I get back to the shop I think we'll be happy with them we'll see how they do anyways right had to go and pick up Chevy from daycare real quick you ready to go home mom's outside the door isn't she isn't she let's go home Okay, okay, future Josh coming at you. Come a little closer. Come a little closer. We're friends, right? We're friends. I won't bite. There you go. So, uh, I'm a little ways into the future now when I'm finishing up this vlog just to wrap it up for you. I wanted to wait a couple of days and give you sort of like uh, a little bit of a review of the tires I bought after driving on them for a little bit. So I've got close to 2,000 kilometers on the tires now. You'll hear me talking about them in the upcoming videos, my experience in the first 2,000 kilometers. Now, I don't know if it's just specific to these Blackhawk tires that I bought or if it's all drive tires, because it's not very often in your career that you'll buy a set of eight brand new tires. It, it happens, I shouldn't say it's not that often, it happens about every like two to three years, right? I should say it hasn't happened that often for me in my career yet because I've been in so many different trucks. I've driven company trucks, I've driven my own trucks, I've leased a truck, I've given it back, I've owned a truck, I've sold it, and now I've got Old Blue, this is my dream truck, I'm going to keep this truck for as long as they make parts for it. So anyways, anyways, it's, it's not that often that I personally have put on eight new drives. So I put eight brand new drives on virgin tires. What that means is that they haven't been used before. Uh, the alternative would be recap tires where they take an old tire and they like put a new cap on it. For those of you who aren't familiar with what that is, you can Google it if you want. What is a recap tire? The technology has come quite a long ways. I put recap tires on my uh, Volvo that I had, unit 3062. And they did really well for me. The truck is still running. And uh, another guy's driving it right now. Uh, Caden, my buddy Caden had it the other day. You saw it in my video. They've, it's gone through those tires and they put on a new set of tires already. Uh, I've been doing this for quite a while, so uh, those tires have been replaced. But it's not too often that I put on brand new drives. So anyways, I put these drives on and I noticed very quickly that the truck handles 
very differently with brand new drives on. I felt a little wishy-washy on the highway, a little bit of, like, as, as a truck driver, you get to know your truck, especially when, you're own, when you own your own truck. The truck becomes a part of you. Old Blue is an extension of me. Old Blue is a reflection of me. So these new tires I put on my truck could be a reflection of me. I bought the cheap tires, Blackhawks. Uh, four thousand, almost. Now we're talking Canadian dollars, remember that. Almost $4,000 cheaper than putting on Goodyear's or Michelin's, like the big name brands. Am I nervous about doing that? Yeah, of course I am. I'm, I don't, I don't know anything about, much about Blackhawks. I've done my research, but I also need to buy a home for my family. And with the housing market and conditions of Canada right now, <laughs> it's over the last eight years, as I've been saying, is it's been getting harder and harder and harder. And uh, with Theo growing up quickly at home now, I want, I don't want him to remember the house that we're in now. I want to buy the house that he's going to grow up in before he even remembers this little house that we're in right now. We're planning on having more children in the future. We want to have three or four. That's that's our goal. And we're already, we're starting kind of late. Well, I shouldn't say we started. We started on time, but our bodies are like, he's an IVF baby, so it took a little while to bring him into this world. And we're hoping to bring three, two or three more into this world yet. So I'm gonna need a bigger house. We got this two bedroom little house. It's great for what we have now. Now we've done a lot of work to it, it's great, but we're gonna need a bigger house, right? So uh, I need to make sure that I prioritize my family. You've heard me say it over and over again that there's nothing more important than family. That is what I live by, that's my creed. My family is the most important thing in my life. And I'm fortunate to work at a place that understands that. So when I when I say that my family needs something, they give me the nod and they say, all right, Trucker Josh, you go take care of your family. They don't call me Trucker Josh. I, that would feel weird. That would feel weird. I'm just Josh. On the internet here, sure, I'm Trucker Josh, but that's just to distinguish me from all the other Joshes, because there's a lot of us out there. Leave me a comment down below if you're a Josh as well. But, uh, you know, if I say, hey, my family needs me, they're like, no problem, Josh. Let us know when you're ready. So that's the most important thing to me, so I want to give them a, a, a better house. So that's why I decided to go with the cheaper tires, just to put that extra money away, as if I would have spent it, but put it away, put it towards a house. And we'll see what these tires do for me, because I'm hoping that per mile, the cost is the same because sure I saved almost four thousand dollars now they'll probably last they probably won't last quite as long as the name brand tires okay so I'm gonna I'm trying an experiment my dad did the same thing that's why I bought these Blackhawks because my dad just put Blackhawks on his truck as well and he told me the price I was like excuse me how much <laughs> sign me up give me eight eight tires the price per tire was like uh, $425 as opposed to almost $1,000 per tire. We'll see what happens. So anyways, for the first little while, I've noticed that these tires are a little bit woo woo and I was thinking to myself, oh no, what have I done? I bought tires that are terrible. But then I had my good buddy Moses chime in and a couple of you in the comment section as well have sort of preempted it and said, hey, just so you know, for the first like 20,000 kilometers, expect a little bit of floating around as the tires get broke in. Tires need to get worn in and broke in for about you know, a week or two or even a month until they start you know, stabilizing. And it's only been 2,000 kilometers for me now, which is 1,500 miles or so, somewhere in there. And they've already stabilized completely. All of that weird floating around I was feeling is pretty much gone already. So that that <laughs> made me feel a lot better. I was like, oh my, I just like spent all this money on these tires and I made a mistake. No, uh, so far, I don't think it's a mistake. So far. 
Uh, so I bought these tires right when my truck rolled over to 3 million kilometers. I know my American followers, there's a lot of you, you speak in miles. 3 million kilometers is like 1.8 something million miles. But I'm gonna speak in kilometers because I'm Canadian. I hope you understand. Uh, so right when my truck rolled over 3 million kilometers is when I replaced my drive. So I can use my odometer to tell exactly how many miles or how much mileage is on the tires. So I'll let you know how they do. I'll let you know when I replace them again because me and Old Blue, we're going to be together for a long, long time yet. I'm going to keep rebuilding her and restoring her. I have plans to completely restore the entire truck's body, paint, and the engine. I don't think I'll have to do the engine for a while because the engine's doing really good and it was just redone a couple of years ago. But we'll keep this truck on the road for a long, long time yet. So, oh wait, I'll let you know how the tires do. Leave me a comment down below. Give me a thumbs up if you liked the video. If you didn't like the video, hit the thumbs down button twice. I'll see you tomorrow. Don't forget to hit the notification button down below. Make sure you're subscribed so you don't miss it.